It's like you can't – there's no place to go and train right, and do yeah. this. Like you just you just have to learn and then pick up things from other places and stuff. But like um, what I was going to say was when we were first setting up, um, about two weeks before we were open, like Sam does um, mixed martial arts. Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Brazilian. Do you? Where? Do you? BGJ. Uh, fight club. At Fight Club. Right there yeah. at Miami next to the – Yeah. 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 Oh, Daniel Lima. Yeah. Training. Right, we were now a couple of people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Did you yeah. listen to the podcast we did? I did. He was I talking did. about Daniel. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, nice. it was really interesting. It was awesome. Cool. So Sam likes to do a lot of rolling and stuff, and he ends up uh, coming into work one day as as we're still doing construction. Jamie Turner's son. Yeah, right. That's on. her business. Oh, Koala Karma. Yeah. Very cool. She's she been going to that gym forever. Koala Karma. That's my sponsor. Nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah, locals. Sweet. Anyway, but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it, keep going. Sorry. It's no, really that's good. all right. I want to have a look. Um, yeah, so uh, so what happened? Sam comes in gingerly. He goes, "Oh mate, you know, you wouldn't believe what I did. I'm so sorry." I said, "What?" He goes, "I've I think I've broken my shoulder, and I've gone." Uh, he, no, you thought that you had what? Torn your shoulder out? I didn't know at the time when it happened. It yeah. was just two loud rips from my right shoulder and oh, uh, choking yeah. some dude. No, no, not even not even cool. Not even like that. Okay. I was literally doing a forward roll. Oh, that's the warm all up, I'd the practice. Done, just yeah, yeah, yeah. warming up. Nothing he, exciting. He said it sounded like a tea towel ripping. Oh, that's so what it was. Like, that. <coughs> wow. Yeah. So, like, uh, so two weeks before we open, and then we've still got still a lot of construction to do and, and painting and all that oh, sort of stuff. Oh, how convenient. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so I've Can't gone, go to Bunnings, guys. Yeah, Saving <laughs> for a day off. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Missed out on the sausage sizzle. But the thing, the thing that he was actually mostly upset with was that he couldn't throw. So, like, he had to actually learn how to throw with his left hand, and he actually got way better with his left hand. No right? way. It didn't take long. It was like an afternoon. Yeah. Interesting. I yeah. was panicking. I was, I was, I was, uh, I was scared to tell yeah. Tyson. But, yeah, yeah. through the left hand. How long have you been training there? Uh, four years. Four years? Yeah. Uh, um, any tips on the belt? Uh, I'm just still a white belt. Four, right. four tips on the white belt. Isn't it interesting? We were talking... I only released it last night, but I've already listened to that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, man. I saw, I it. I saw the idea of it. this afternoon. And I love the idea. You can, and, and, you know, sorry, we'll, we'll go sideways for a minute. Mm-hmm. Give you a chance of guys. No, guys go for chance it. to drink beer. Um, you can go forever and be a white belt mm. in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Up, there's so much to learn. You there, can murder and, people. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, it's so exciting. It's so you, like, exciting. But I've been going four years. I've barely scratched the surface. Every day I right. go in there and right. learn something new, you know, yeah. and it's just... Yeah, it's just it's, it's just the best. You you end up rolling that day every oh, single time. It's great trying to. It's great. I I originally got into it. Um, a friend of mine, um, that was uh, my security manager at Cooley Hotel, JP, right. and and I said, Big to him, head, who who's uh, who's the fuzzy haired guy? And then you. Oh, that's Bo. Okay, yeah. everyone knows him. Uh, yeah. big, big sexy, <laughs> big yeah. sexy, big sexy. Say. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I said to JP, I was like, oh man, look, what do you do? Like, how, what do you train, and what do you know? And, he told me, he goes, it's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I right. said, oh, wow, okay, it's really cool. And he said, why don't you come along? And so I did. I went along one time and I signed up. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, this no. is for me. I'm addicted. Like, I want to do this How many day. times you go a week now at the moment? Oh, look. It's I hard with business, try, hey? Uh, uh, yeah. I, I supposed to go last night. I try to get night, in couldn't. three times a week. I try to get in three times. Sometimes I'll get four, which is awesome. Um, and sometimes I'll get two. But Where's your dojo, though? Uh, it's pretty mm. much about... Two minutes walk from yeah, where we are, Lumber Punks. It's just in, down the yeah. end there. Um, you've got the fruit shop on the corner and then us and then down oh, towards, cool. yeah, yeah, there's... Right. Um, so that would be a little bit easier for you to... It's yeah. great. The, yeah. It's super convenient. Yeah. 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 yeah, it worked out well. It's, great. it's sort of hard because Sam's... Uh, well, I, I keep saying he's just had a baby, but you, your baby isn't a baby anymore. No, she's 16... No, 17. I should know that. 17 months. Yeah, right. Oh, how cute. Yeah. She. Yeah, Willow has her name. Beautiful, yeah, She's pretty cute. So, like, I mean, for... There's a lot been going on in Sam's yeah. life, so, like, you know, finding time to do anything is really good, but... Doing he, um, fake shoulder injuries. Oh, yeah. 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 All the, all the yeah. energy trying to convince oh, man, everybody. Yeah. But that was two weeks. <laughs> that was two weeks before we opened, and then I think what two days before we actually opened. I think you you hurt your neck or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. yeah it's, it's never ending. Oh, wow. It's never ending. <laughs> yeah. But it's like that that thing. It's, it's just know, when you train that much. Yeah, oh, far wow. out. yeah, it's like no one has time for anything. You, when you make time, you yeah. know what I mean. Like mm. it's you know you, there's you always time. To, you yeah. have to just make but the can time. I, can I ask another question? Sure. Oh, have you already asked it? Maybe. Um <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what made? How did it all happen? Like, what were you doing? Like, sitting yeah. in a oh. pub or like, yeah. the axe throwing or yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There, there must have been a spark. One of you guys went to one of you went. 
I just saw this thing. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so as I said before at the start, um, Sam and I used to work at Hard Rock together, right? And Well, actually, all three of us all did. Three. Do yeah. you know Paul? Paul, Polly? Paul Edwards. Oh, Paul Edwards? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Bazza. Yeah, yeah Bazza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. oh, I don't know that he's Bazza. Yeah, <laughs> he'll, 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 man. he'll always be Bazza to us. Absolute yeah. legend, that dude. Oh, he is a legend. He's amazing. Yeah. Queasy. Fantastic. Yeah, and, and Queasy, yeah. 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 He's, um, Queasy's actually got a gig at uh, coming up at Hard Rock uh, with oh, Cow. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's keep uh, saying basically it. Julian Date. Uh, is it? Half of Julian Date. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, so like we're working all together and stuff. And Look at this city. Um <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Duckworth is running Broadbeach. Mark Duckworth's running Broadbeach, you know. And you guys are, you know. Yeah. It, it's we were just punks. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> were. You guys are now lumber punks in a legit deal. You, you, I'm going to let you no, finish right. your story, but I'm just starting to notice now the, 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 the people I knew 10 years ago, and we were honestly just going to venue, venue, venue. Yep. But I always thought they were good people. They were working hard. That's the emphasis. You were working very hard at, at all, you know, everything you you did. But we didn't even really seriously think of it as uh, working hard. It's just what you did. But it turns out now we're becoming a bit of age and falling into some um, big It's crazy Inter- deals. Interesting it's stuff, crazy. yeah. Yeah, because you know, like um, – well, yeah, like, I mean, everyone that we all sort of know, like, they've all – they're all made their way into different – parts of the industry you know and and different industries and now they're sort of now they're at an age where they're sort of having to branch out and get get somewhere with it you know and so same with us like this is a coming of age sort of you know thing for us you know like we we had worked hospitality for so many years and that was one of the things that um that when we were trying to figure out okay what do we want to do like because the only person i ever wanted to work with was sam like because you know the way that he handled a himself and other people was, you know, just just stood out, you know, and um, and that was the thing. So I, I I approached Sam and I said, "Look, do you want to do something?" He goes, "Absolutely, I want to do something. I've always wanted to do something. Let's do it together." I said, "Excellent. What are we going to do?" And so like we tossed around ideas for it was almost two years, like you know, like because we we're both in hospitality. Hospitality sucks. It does. It, it, it does. Um, again, like uh. We we knew we knew the industry and we know what to do, but there was also a part of us that was going, do we really want to jump back in there? And and this is at the time where the the market out there for cafes and restaurants was just so saturated, like literally it was impossible to stand out amongst the the, the crowd because you know like it's it's really hard to get people to look at you because of a burger that you put on a plate. You know what I mean? Mm. It's really hard. And and so, like, we were going, what are we doing? We went through several different ideas, not only in hospitality, but, like, we branched out into, you know, we are thinking about outdoor furniture. We were going to do, oh. we were gonna do um, a, an idea which was, like, a poster subscription of vintage posters. So, like, you know. And, um, and then we were having one of our, uh, what we call a business meeting, uh, in Remember my backyard, business? Oh, yeah, <laughs> business meeting, and um, and and literally we were throwing the little tomahawks that I that I had a set at home, and I, we we're just in the backyard oh. mucking about with them, and and I said to Sam like, why don't we do this? Like, you know, like I remembered years ago, like uh, seeing on YouTube uh, there was a thing that Discovery Channel had done about these guys in the US uh, called Battle B A T L Backyard Axe Throwing League, and what they did was. Um, they they were just a, a, a couple of guys that had a couple of mates come over, throw axes, and then more mates brought more mates, and then it turned so much into a thing that they had to find a place to do it um, because, you know, it was just growing too big for their backyard. And so they did that, and, um, and like, that was 10 years ago. So now they've got, like, just that, that one company's got about eight different, you know, venues around the U.S. And they're branching out. And they're oh. branching out everywhere, oh. like... Yeah. Yeah. The cool thing is, um, like last night we had, um, uh, you know, with us being Lumber Punks, um, uh, you know, we, we, the, the reason why the guys chose the name Lumber Punks was because we're heavily invested in music and we love the music industry, uh, like Australian music and we love music in general. And uh, we've been really lucky that we've had quite a few sort of band members come through and everything. And uh, last night we had a couple of friends come down from Brisbane um, with um, awesome. Uh, a guy called Matt, who is the bass player from a band called High Tension from Melbourne, um, but he also manages Cosmic Psychos. And um, he was uh, telling me last night that um, 
this wasn't his actual first time throwing axes. He he actually threw axes at Eddie Vedder's house, um, uh, and because uh, Eddie's got a whole setup at his place, um, he's got like um, he's got the double-handed uh, uh, axes that they were throwing, and everybody had to wear baseball helmets while they were doing it. And he said they weren't just regular baseball helmets; like the one that he had was Babe Ruth's baseball <gasps> helmet. No way! Um, you know, That's crazy. And, which is nuts. And um, you know, it just goes to show that um, it's a lot bigger than what people actually do perceive. And um, you know, it's it's a fun activity. And uh, you know, and like it's Kim, like the Kim, new darts. It's better than darts well, because like Kim, you can Kim get from, outdoors. Mm. Uh, Kim from Dead Letter Circus has been talking to me for the last week about um, setting. Uh, he's finding out what wood we use and, and where we get the axes from and everything because so he, he wants might. to set up a backyard. Would you one do for a himself. franchise kind of thing though? And can we have it? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is. You know, that's where where we want to go. Yeah. Um, basically, you know, this is great this, name for it too. Yeah, Lumber punks. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what punk actually comes from so the term you know that we use for you know punk music and all that sort of stuff Sorry. it's actually a timber term so, so like it's a milling term it? yeah so all of the all of the wood chips and and sawdust and stuff that's called punk okay so it's like and oh, and it's yeah. useless so that's that's oh. what happened was in the milling industry the new guy would be called oh get that punk over here huh. Because he's the useless new guy, right? So that sort of, you know, became an industry thing and then it sort of branched out of the industry. Then it turned into colloquial sort of, oh, look at this punk. And then it turned, like, there's actually also another um, another iteration of it, which is, like, in male prisons, like, a punk was the new... Boy. Yeah, the new, <laughs> the new boy, fresh meat. <laughs> And then, um, and then what happened was like in the seventies, like the 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 music, the punk music, um, they they loved it. They wanted it, you know, like they wanted to be the the the, the outcast, the useless, the <laughs> absolutely the disenfranchised, did, you know. Yeah. And so they took it on full ball, and and that's sort of where it all sort of stemmed from. So like that's that's why we sort of uh, chose like you know the the term you know lumber punks because it's the two things that we're really passionate about, which is you know. Uh, wood wood uh, games or yeah. timber sports and music like music's yeah. a really so big part of it. Do you have music pumping? Yep, we you do. do? Yep. What kind of music? Whatever, whatever you want. Whatever you want to really? hear. Really, so that, that's get... part of the whole thing oh, when people true. come in. We, we have to go. W- w- within reason. There is one person that came in a couple of weeks ago and decided to play Barbie Girl by Aqua. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not so good, but like the, the thing is, you know, know. the music. That's why you don't want sixteen-year-olds here. Too. But, you know, music should be democratic. You know, yeah. like people should be like. Well, I forget who said it, and they, I'm embarrassing myself but here. Somebody said life for that music is a waste. Oh yeah, I can't remember who that was. Absolutely, but you know, like it's it's key. Um, when people come in, they will listen to their tunes, and you can choose your music. And we kind of want people to feel like they're at home. Yeah, you know, like we want them to feel like they're in their backyard, yeah. think, throw an axe. So is it, it one cool, one mate. group at a time? No, 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 no. We can take several groups at one time. <laughs> so, okay. like, okay, so the way it works is that, um, uh, so say if you had a group of eight. Right, yeah. and another group of eight wanted to come in at the same time. We would actually, if if you're both there at the same time, we'll actually put you all together to go through all of the stuff together, right? So all of the safety stuff, how to throw axes, all that sort of stuff. You would, you guys would learn together, you know, one group at, as well as the other, and um, and we'd do it all this all, all together. So like, and then it's interesting. We've done that a couple of times, and what ends up happening is that people will start to you know, start to migrate into other people's groups, you know, like they'll actually start talking, especially when we're doing games all together. That's, that's where it, so yeah, so you, we can have, we can, as long as, so the way that it works, Sam and I will both be working the floor. Yeah. And we now have got it down to a fine art of, okay, like, where are these guys up to? Where do, where do we need to go? And we can actually, we can actually go in between every, each other's groups and know exactly what's happening. So yeah, so um, but yeah, no. Look, whenever you want to come in, we can take us. We can take oh, up to. I feel uh, like I'm 48. looking at success. I, I feel like I'm looking. At, I've had this these uh, little epiphanies a few times doing this. Mm-hmm. I feel like you know, whoa, like I'm watching something. Two yeah. guys I've sort of seen around about. You, you know what it's like. You keep going and stuff, and at first we're like, yeah, I'm a Dracula, uh, yeah. you know, and I'm and I'm trying to be an actor. Or you're trying to be whatever. And then you you burn out multiple times over the years. Yeah, mm. you get fed up. Yep. And then you go you think about selling outdoor furniture and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Well, I feel like I'm 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 sitting with some lads who've found the thing that's going to be uh, 
Like the next like McDonald's. The, yeah, I can feel it off you. Well, I, had a, really? I, had a, I had a friend who really made it quite clear.